Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I wouldn't say that we gifted them a couple of goals, but at the end of the day, I mean, the confusion at the start's the last thing we needed. Um, I think from a from a tiredness point of view, I mean, the best shot was going to be to to go as long as we could in the first half, and probably do as much as we could. You know, I think it was always going to compound at some stage. Um, probably disappointing right at the death to concede a penalty. You know, I think. It's, but at, at the other end, you know, we had, we had good chances. You know, I think, and and for the sake of a couple of poor touches, um, you know, maybe we may have got something out of it. But you know, for me, that was a decisive factor. And around the box, they took the chances, and um, and and we didn't. You know, I thought Jeremy Brocky was excellent tonight. You know, we put him in at left back. I mean, have we found a right back? You know, um, you know, I think from a from a comfort point of view. We've really struggled for four years to find somebody. Maybe, maybe he's an option. You know. Um, interesting enough, I suppose. You've got a player like Zulo, who's been put at left back for the Australian side, who's, you know, come from a similar sort of position that Jeremy's played in. But uh, no, I thought he was superb tonight. Singy's always a heart on the sleeve. He's never, never going to let you down. I thought from a se senior point of view, he, he was definitely the pick of them. Um, and I think you see players like Costa and, and, and Marco, you know, I think another 18 months of exposure and, you know, football at this level. Um, you know, I think Marco coming on, he had them treading water a wee bit there at times. So, um, I, thought, I thought they were great. I thought they were very good. Uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not sure it's, well, at the end of the day, Piney, I think it's there, you know, I mean, I can't. I mean, you jump on a plane yourself, you know, 30 hours of travel is, is, is tough for anybody, but I think it's just good character building for this group. You know, you've got probably nine or ten players that have had very, very little international exposure, and um, it's not going to do them any harm. I think, you know, again, they're going to wake up tomorrow morning and, and they'll be stronger for the, for the opportunity. You know, I can't, I can't do anything about the 12, 14 players that aren't here that, you know, and the Australians have got players missing too, but... We don't have a squad of 23 to, to pick from at the moment. Um, I guess, ironically, Andrew, I think I'm happier tonight because I think I can tick some of the boxes with some of the players. Um, and it's really important. I think it was a tough one against Mexico and, you know, the calibre and, and, and at that level the competition was hard to find a multiple of positives except giving players some experience at that level. You know, tonight and, you know, kind of no disrespect, but I think, you know, you get Jeremy Brocky playing up against the Premier League mm -hmm. winger you can make some some kind of calls, and um, you know it's 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 not where he's played, but I thought he was superb tonight. So, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to run this coach. He might not be so favourable to play him there. <laughs>